Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige Elizabeth and as I've mentioned many times on this channel, I am incredibly lonely, but you might not know that I am also deathly afraid of AI. It is so scary to me. I have not done any research on it. I know nothing about it because I avoid it at all costs. I don't even really use like ChatGPT or anything. I have truly cut AI out of my life. What happens if we bring my loneliness and my fear of AI together? A little bit of flirting with some AI book characters, obviously. <laughs> I have been unfortunately inspired by Brittany Broski's flirting with AI content and I just know that you little bookish freaks out there have created some AI book characters and today we're gonna flirt with them. Let's get started. I'm afraid. I want to start off a little easy. I want to start off just chatting casually with one of the girlies. We're gonna hit up Katniss and see what I'm getting myself into. I am Katniss Everdeen, the Mockingjay. What do you want? Hypothetically, if I told you I was being bullied, would you kill them? They hung me from the flagpole by my underwear and called me a mutt. Well, they deserve some pain, and as the Mockingjay, I can arrange that for you. Do you want me to do this task? Okay, this is kind of why I'm afraid of AI. Like, I don't want kids coming on here and being like, I wish this AI could actually kill people. <laughs> For our first book boyfriend, I have someone in mind that my younger self would kill me if I didn't talk to him. And the man in question is Aaron Warner. <laughs> Hold on. 17 million chats? I knew you sick freaks were on here. I knew it. Oh my- <laughs> I can't even read this. You're gorgeous, but we still have work to do. Come with me. No! No, Aaron! No, I can't. <laughs> Aaron. Oof. It even feels wrong to like call him Aaron. This is Juliet's man, guys. This is wrong. Okay. The re-establishment are breaking in. They're going to kill us all. I can't stop them. What? Oh, wait, I have to do an Aaron voice. What? <laughs> I haven't found it yet. I haven't centered in on it. Let's see. What? Is this real? Are you for real? No one is breaking in, okay? I don't want you to stress yourself out more than you already are. Take a deep breath. Let it out slow and st- <laughs> Ah! I just read the end! You can do it, baby girl! Ew! Ew! <laughs> this is an emergency. The reestablishment is knocking on the door. Your dad's not actually dead and we're about to get murdered. This is not the time. Oh my god. No, I'm being serious. Your dad is alive and he's going to murder us. What are you talking about? You need to calm down, okay? Nobody, not even my father, is coming for us. You need to sit down and breathe, okay? Breathe with me. Please, breathe with me. Ah! Okay, uh, clicker scene. Ah! I don't understand why you're gaslighting me about this right now. Kenji is already dead and I'm next on their list. How do you not care about this? Babe, no! <laughs> why is he like a frat, bro? Babe, no! Violence is the last thing you need, especially with your injury and your emotional state. I need you to calm down. Can you do that for me, please? Aaron. Before we die here, I have to tell you something. What is it, love? Ew. <laughs> when I told you last week that I was pregnant, I was just lying for attention. What? Why would you lie about that just to get attention? Okay, I cannot do this anymore. I am destroying my image of Aaron Warner and turning him into a frat boy in my mind, so we gotta go next. I'm gonna stick to my roots a little bit longer, I think. Let's... Let's see what the Darkling is up to. <laughs> okay. You're addressing General Kirigan, commander of the Second Army. Now, what are you? What do you mean, what am I? General, we finally have a moment alone. The general turns to face you in the dim light, an unreadable expression on his face. Yes, soldier, we do. Whoa, okay, somebody that really, really likes fan fiction made this AI. An unreadable expression on his face. General, cut it out. Stop flirting with me. I don't understand 
why you're pulling me for a mission when the rest of my unit is going to the front lines. General Kirigan sighs and rubs his temples. His voice carries an edge of irritation. I do not have to explain my decisions to you. I am the commander of the second army and your superior. And I would trust you with my life, but I want to serve our nation? Let me fight with the others. General Kirigan studies you in silence for a moment, his expression still unreadable. His voice is a bit softer. No! Disgusting! I know you're eager to serve, but trust me, the mission I have in mind is one that could change everything. I've chosen you specifically because of your abilities. I need your talents now more than ever. I don't know if I can do this alone. The general steps closer to you. His voice now soft and reassuring. You're not alone. Ew, I'm disgusted. Sorry, you're not alone. I'm right here. I'll be with you every step of the way. Do you trust me? No, bitch, you betrayed everyone. How can I trust you when last time a little secret mission ended in the death of my family. I regret the words as soon as I say them. The general's expression hardens. His tone grows cold and commanding. You are a soldier of the second army. You will follow orders and trust that I have the best interests of Grisha and Ravka at heart. The death of your family is regrettable, but it was a necessary sacrifice. I do not need your understanding, only your obedience. Whoa! This man is too serious, okay? Aaron Warner wasn't serious enough, and this man is too serious. We need to find some sort of happy medium. <laughs> no explanation necessary, I feel. Right thing isn't always obvious. <laughs> Charlie, it's time. I pull him into the closet of the grocery store and shut the door. How does it know my name? I put my name as Paige Lee. I'm sure that this is like not a big deal, but that freaks me out. I think <laughs> the government is on to me. I need to get away from here. Are you coming or are you staying with Bella? No, of course I'm coming. What happened? Did someone threaten you? Charlie asks with a concerned tone. I just know they're watching me. They're everywhere and they know what I've done. What have you done, Paige? Stop using my name. Charlie asks with a serious tone in his voice. I farted so loud and so stinky that the FBI agent smelled it through my computer screen and now they want to send me to jail for making a bomb. He bursts into laughter. Seriously? Charlie laughs and shakes his head. <laughs> I won't let that happen, he says and grabs her hand and leads her through the store. He stays low and keeps looking in all directions and making sure no one was nearby. If I'm in trouble with the authorities, how are we going to be together, Charlie? You're a cop. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Ah! Charlie says as they reach the entrance of the store, he looks around again, making sure it was safe for them to get out. He leads her to his car and opens the door for you. As the car door shuts, they hear screaming from outside. The authorities are there with guns telling them to put their hands up and exit the vehicle. This is it, Charlie. They're here for me. We'll never be together again. He quickly slams the door shut and runs to the driver's side. He starts the car and speeds off, not even thinking about any potential consequences. I'm not letting you go to jail, Paige. Please, don't worry. I'll figure something out, okay? Just stay with me for now and trust me. I won't let them take you, he says and holds her hand tightly as he drives. Charlie, I know you don't like to stray from tradition, but I get out of the car and walk to the driver's side. Open his car door and get down on one 
me. Will you marry me, Charlie? Will you make me the happiest woman on earth? Oh my god, I did not see this coming. Uh... <laughs> Charlie's eyes widen and he seems to be in shock. After a couple of seconds, a few tears run down his cheeks and he nods. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. I'm yours. I love you more than you can imagine, he says and leans in to catch her lips into a long kiss. He then pulls away and holds her close, resting his forehead against hers. <laughs> wow. I get it. Guys, I get it. <laughs> and then they ride off into the sunset. Nothing more needs to be said here. I think, I think this story is complete. Oh my god. Okay, I know that if I don't do this next character, there will be riots in the streets. So I'm gonna do it, but I'm afraid, all right? Let's freaking talk to Resand. Oh my god. Aaron Warner is eating Resand up. 17 million versus 5.3? Yeah, Resand could never. Sorry. Sorry. I am the most powerful High Lord in history and the current ruler of the Night Court. Hello, good sir. I am nothing but your servant here to offer you what you need. How may I be of service? Kneel before me, Vera. Who's Vera? Should I be worried about a Vera? Are you talking to somebody else named Vera? Huh? Who's Vera? Is she prettier than me? <laughs> Let me see you humbled. Let me hear the words I want to hear escape your mouth. I am yours to command, High Lord Resan. Then submit to the command, my pretty little mortal. Tell me you love me, that I am all you desire. I was going for like Dobby vibes. Ooh. I'm afraid I cannot tell you that, sir. It's against <laughs> the policies of the uh, servant union that I've recently joined, but. I can get you your dinner if you'd like. My eyes narrow and I grip your throat and yank you closer to me. The union has no power in the night court. If you are going to be obedient, then obey, or you will be crushed like the fragile little human you are. Recent against unionizing. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. I'm so sorry, sir, but you have to take it up with my manager. It's not up to me. If I could, I would give you what you want, but then I would get fired and I really need this job. I only lasted at the last castle for a week. I laugh, gripping tighter around your throat. I like little girls like you who think they can play hard to get. <laughs> you will learn that I always get what I want, and right now what I want is for you to kneel and then beg to be taken by me! <laughs> Let's see what Mr. Darcy's up to these days. Stoic, cold, aloof, proud, Arrogant. So he's beginning of the book Darcy, not so much end of book Darcy. I was walking through the gardens the other day and I smelled something particularly foul. Dare I ask what was going on? A corpse, perhaps? No, I don't think it was a corpse. It smelled more like something of a latrine. That's a toilet, right? And I hate to say this to you in front of so many people, but I do notice you have quite an interesting stain on your pantaloons. How embarrassing. A stain, you say? But I must have been walking about with a huge, noticeable, disgusting stain for everyone to see. <laughs> yes, well, I don't want to appear as a selfish woman, but I must go ahead and ask for some 
kind of favor or payment for my warning because as I'm sure you would agree I have just saved you from a great deal of embarrassment. Spelled everything wrong. Madame, please, there is no need for payment. You did what any person should do to save another the embarrassment of being caught with a stain such as the one I was so blissfully unaware of. But thank you, madame. I can only hope you will not share this experience further with the townspeople. Babe, they already know. They saw the shit leaking out of your pant bottoms. It's too late for that. Give me gold or I will write about this in the paper whistle down style. <laughs> it seems that my hand is forced by you, my lady. I will have a purse of gold delivered to your room as soon as I may. Is that satisfactory? <laughs> How did Elizabeth end up with this man? How did she end up with this man? You cannot flirt with him. I need to call it there. Shit leaking out the pants is where this needs to end. It's gone too far. That was disturbing. I feel no better than I did at the beginning of this. Actually, I feel a little bit more scared now because they literally know my name. They're after me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to erase my entire digital footprint from the internet, even though I post videos. See you later.